Welcome to the Intellectual Freedom Movement. I'm your host, Harvey Dent. And tonight, I want to talk about the true test of a hero. With Buzz Aldrin's comments coming to light, revealing that they didn't go there, and him being the face of the Apollo 11 mission, uh, the only remaining uh, mission crew member who is active uh, in space exploration, uh, Neil Armstrong, unfortunately died August 25th, 2012, before he could share the truth with the world. Digital. Wanted to give you the opportunity to swear on the Bible that you walked on the moon. Will you put your left hand on the Bible and swear to God that you walked on the moon? Yeah. Mr. Cyber. Yes? <clears throat> if you really walked on the moon, why would you not do that? So why don't you just put the end to the record in the argument and put your hand on the Bible, swear to God you walked on the moon. Mr. Cyber, yeah. knowing you, that's probably a thick Bible. Really? Well, no, it's a real Bible. You have the opportunity to have $5,000. Take the meeting, it's not open. Well, you have $5,000 cash, you can give it to charity if you swear on the Bible that you walked on the moon. Please I have the tape. Sure. That'd be fine. Why don't you swear to, why not? Why won't you do it? So why don't you put your hand on the Bible and swear to God that you walked yeah, on the moon? Mr. Seibel has made a fool of himself in front of the world. Mr. Seibel, you do not deserve my answer. Michael Collins, the lesser known dark-haired crew member, uh, conveniently retired from NASA in 1970, immediately after uh, the Apollo 11 mission, uh, and then became a Secretary of State for Public Affairs and a couple other positions he held, Smithsonian, um, and now he resides in Florence, Italy. I'm sure uh, he's probably the most tight-lipped of them all. I found his uh, most shining moment here in this interview, which I like to call the most awkward moment in the world. To a, a point of firm contact, so one must be quite cautious in, in moving around in this rough terrain. We were never able to see stars from the lunar surface or on the daylight side of the moon by eye without looking through the optics. Uh, I don't recall during the period of time that we were photographing the sonar pearl or what, or what stars we could see. I don't remember seeing any. Neil, you were uh, a little bit concerned. I don't know if you know this or not, but I'm a people watcher, okay? I love body language. Check out the body language here. Buzz is like, Jesus Christ, Neil, shut the fuck up. <laughs> While Michael's kicking him on the table. Wringing of the hands is an easy tell for discomfort. Since Michael Collins will probably never come clean and has probably been paid off, which is why he's in Italy, leaves us with Mr. Buzz Aldrin, the scruffy tough guy from New Jersey, second man to walk on the moon. He has been the poster boy for the Apollo missions since before Neil Armstrong died. Well, you're talking to the wrong guy. Why don't you talk to the administrator at NASA? We're passengers. We're, we're guys falling on a flight. I don't hit people, but you're going to be on the deck unless you get out. Get the hell out of the house. Well, I take your stuff and get the fuck out. Why don't you quote me and say it's bullshit? When the shadows interrupt, I don't give a, I don't give a damn about all that shit. You're the one who said you walked on the moon when you didn't. Calling the kettle black if ever thought of saying I misrepresented myself. Get it away from me. You're a coward and a liar and a thief. I want to know, but I think I know. Because we didn't go there, and, and that's the way it happened. You want me to knock you in the head? Well, I want you to, I want you to swear Get to God on the Bible me. that you walked on the moon. Okay. Okay. If you walked on the moon, we're given the opportunity to swear to God that you walked on the moon. I'm going to give you the opportunity to get the hell knocked out of you. You don't leave me alone. Buzz Aldrin is 88 years old. He's been carrying this secret for 50 years. Neil Armstrong died without being able to share the truth with the world. 
What kind of hero will it take to stand up and champion for the truth? We, the people of this world, deserve to know the truth. No one will be mad at you, Buzz. No one will hold you responsible. We just want the truth. This is the true test of a hero. He can try to keep the secret and die with it, or share the truth with the world, be lifted above all those who participated, and go out like a hero. Not the hero burdened with guilt, looking down and afraid to accept the praise for doing something fantastic. That is the true test of a hero. Courage in the face of adversity. Well, if you like what I'm doing here, why don't you go ahead and click that like button. You know you want to like it. Subscribe, share, comment, dislike. Do something so your brothers and sisters know that you're alive out there. Like asking Buzz Aldrin to please share the truth with the world. Until you find your truth, keep looking.